I'm JD and what we're going to be doing today is looking at two problems and basically you know what's its domain and what's its range. So if you would let me help you uh, to read it because <laughs> it might be a little hard to see. For problem number one this counts as one, two, three, four, five and this is more lined up with the four right here. This is three, two, one, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and then here, of course, is negative one, negative two, negative three. For the second problem, I don't have it as labeled as number one, but it's not necessary. And so, and notice that this is just going up and up and up and up and then this goes down and down and down but never hits the x-axis. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to find a domain and range on your own. Alright, for the first problem, remember domain is all possible x-values where the range is all possible y values. So look at first your domain. This is about, starts at negative three, and since it's a closed circle, that means it's included. And then it goes all the way to three, and then it stops at the positive three. And it's an open circle, which means it's not included. So to use interval notation, you're starting at negative three and then negative three is included. When you're doing inner rotation, it's always, you know, starts off negative or where the smallest amount is and then goes up from left to right. And then it's gonna stop at that positive three. And since it's an open circle, it's not included, which means it's a parentheses. For its range, same thing, but it's all possible y values. So it looks like it's starting at negative three, start down and go up. So that's negative three. And then negative three is included. Go up, 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 and it stops at positive four. And that positive four is not going to be included, so it would be parentheses. Now notice here, your domain is all possible x values. So from the left hand side, it goes on forever and ever and ever. You know, very negative, you know, gets increasingly negatively large. And then it goes in the opposite direction. And so that's getting more and more positive. So it's gonna go from negative infinity, where you start left to right, left and then it goes all the way to positive infinity. So that's negative infinity to positive infinity and always in parentheses around either positive or negative infinity. Now notice what's happening with the range. It's, getting, it's really close to zero but does not include zero. Right? The curve goes down, down, and down but never touches the x-axis, right? So at zero, and then it goes up, 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 up to positive infinity. So you're not gonna include the zero, so that would be parentheses, and then it goes up, up, up to positive infinity. And that's it.